Hi, Love Simon came out in 2018. is a romantic comedy film directed by Greg Berlanti. I don't think I said it right. I'm really sorry. It is based on a novel called uh, Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda. This movie has a huge cast with Nick Robinson in the lead. This is a spoiler free review, so stick around for that. Simon Spears is a high school student who is gay and he hasn't come out to anyone about it except for uh, an, another student who is known as Blue, his pseudonym is Blue and they chat with each other on email and Simon has fallen in love with Blue. Martin finds out about those emails and he takes screenshots of them and he blackmails Simon uh, with those screenshots in exchange for setting him up with uh, one of Simon's best friends, Abby, I think. And shit happens and those emails are leaked and now Simon has to deal with that while trying to find Blue, his true identity. And uh, that's the movie. This is a fun movie. Uh, it's a pretty wholesome film, I would say, and really funny at times. Uh, there were a few things I didn't like, uh, one of them being everything was too perfect. Like everyone looked at their best uh, and the clothings and everything. It's, it sort of worked against the film for me at least. Like it kept reminding me that this is a movie happening in front of me. I, it wasn't as involving as, as I expected it to be. Even though everyone acted really well, uh, just it, it kind of took me out of the zone. Also, Martin's character was a cunt, totally. Like, I hated his character because he was such an asshole. I, maybe that was the intention of that character. Yeah, probably that was the intention of the character and they nailed it. Uh, what's his name? Logan Miller. Uh, he did an amazing job portraying uh, Martin and I hated him in this movie. Uh, some decisions made by Simon also, uh, they were a bit too over dramatic, I would say, like that wouldn't happen in real life. Speaking of annoying characters, there's also one, uh, the high school teacher, no, uh, the high school principal or the headmaster, what, whatever, like the guy who keeps taking uh, cell phones from students uh, in the school. Uh, he was pretty annoying. He was trying to be like the character was uh, basically the over friendly uh, um, teacher who keeps being too friendly with students to the point it makes everything uncomfortable and awkward. But thankfully there weren't many scenes with him, uh, which I, I was glad to, I was glad to not watch more of him. Uh, not to say he was a bad actor. I don't mean that by any ways. Uh, it was the character basically. It's just a personal grudge, I guess. And he wasn't that annoying. He was just a teensy tiny bit annoying, not much. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Overall, the story was compelling for the most part. I did not like one thing about the story, uh, the character of Lee. I did not like where that led, like she being in love with Simon uh, this whole time. I that felt a bit unnecessary because Lee and Simon are shown as best friends for like 13 years and like they went the cliched route of uh, the girl being in love with a guy but guy is not in love with her because he's gay in this case they, they that was a bit unnecessary in my opinion uh, Catherine Langford she is not getting a break since 13 reasons why was that now this um but uh, i think uh, cursed cursed is coming out on netflix soon i am looking forward to that because that looks pretty cool so we'll see how that goes coming back to this uh, the decision of having lee being in love with simon uh, that kind of ruined the tagline of the film uh, everyone deserves a great love story because spoiler alert uh, Lee does not end up with Simon. So that kind of fucked it up. Uh, I just wished they did more with her character because they could have done a lot. Also, side note, this movie had some issues uh, being released in India with the censor board. Some say that it was banned. Some say it was because 
they the movie was trying to pull out a publicity stunt some say there is no audience interest in india for a film about homosexuality that's why they didn't release the movie i have no idea uh, don't quote me on this because i personally have no idea why they didn't release the movie in the in uh, india or not everyone heard about it either except for on, of course social medias anywho i think like this is a great uh, romantic comedy film i really enjoyed watching it it was a blast to watch it it's not perfect it has some problems i guess with the story and the decision making i didn't mind it i felt like it was a good film and i enjoyed it as i said uh, and i hope you do too thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye also happy pride month love yourself for who you are